Hey everybody, it's Nicky V97 here, and this is part 31 of my walkthrough on Pokemon Coliseum. In this part, I finally figure out what the frick I'm supposed to be doing, but before we do, I have some news. I have a new party member. This Hitmon Top. Uh, I finally realized that Noctowl wasn't really doing that much for my team, that other party members weren't doing better. And besides, I didn't really need a sleeper, since I have Ampharos, who's a paralyzer, which is much better than a sleeper. <gasps> anyway. Let me just show you what this uh, hit on top is working with. It has triple kick, focus energy, agility, and rapid spin. And I got a, I got a black belt on it. And uh, also, I've leveled up some of my Pokemon to level 38 and 39. And also, Quilava evolved into Typhlosion. So, sorry, Jay Spiker. I know that Quilava is your favorite Pokemon, but mm, for the purposes of my team, Typhlosion is better. Anyway, and also Umbreon learned, well, Umbreon was supposed to learn Faint Attack, but I decided to forego it, because Bite is better, and uh, Espeon learned Psybeam. I think that's just about it. Yeah, I think that's good. So anyway, what we're supposed to do now is go to this area that I had didn't see on the map before, because I am a retard. Anyway, so let's go ahead and head to the Mystery Lab, and... We have mail. Alright, to check our mail, just go to the PDA, uh, Nick's email, and. Alright, Nick, this is Duking. We just nabbed a pair of goons we think take orders from Mirror B. They may be worth squeezing for some intelligence. The police have them in jail, so come to Pyrite in a hurry. Well, that was a big friggin' waste. Why couldn't you just, you know, call me about this sort of thing before I was lost and didn't know where the frick I was supposed to be going! <sighs> but no, it only does that cutscene, or it only sent, you only get that email once you get to the mystery lab, so... Oh wait, hold on, the jail's over here. So anyway, let's go see what this is all about. Alright, hmm, those suspects we arrested haven't spilled any beans. Not a thing. I reckon they're afraid of payback from their organization. Oh, wait. N Nick, was it? Your PDA number, please. Okay. I'll be in touch with you just as soon as I hear anything. Alright, well, let's see here. We caught two more suspects. They came back to the creaky old building, and we had them on the spot. Uh, yep. Treadley and Foley. That, or Treadley and Folly. That would be them. Uh, but let's see if Duking has anything to say about this. I mean, he was the one who sent the email about it, so... It's kind of likely that he would probably know some stuff. Ah, oh, Nick. Chief Charles arrested two women. They were Mira B's underlings. Oh, women. Wreath and Firma. Oh, my bad. But they, they're tough nuts to crack. The interrogators haven't made much headway. The police have locked them up in jail. You should go and help the chief with those two? Huh? Oh, well, maybe they're in the... The... Lower jail. I only checked the top ones. Let's see. Ah, there they are. What's this? Jail key? Really? They're gonna give that to us? <sighs> We're about to do something bad. Okay, you're free to go. Goodbye. Nah, no, just kidding. But anyway, let's see here. We were caught when we tried to sneak back down to the under. It's just another thing that goes with this, that, and everything else you caused. It's all your fault. Tee hee. Mother. Elevator going down. There's a key of some sort in her belt. Yes, I will take it. And notice how her friend is not doing a damn thing, even though I just stole the key that's going to allow me to go down that elevator. Nice one. Anyway, now we know what to do, so... Let's go ahead and head towards that elevator now that we know what we're supposed to be doing. By the way, if I didn't mention before, I leveled up my Pokemon uh, on the Mount Battle Run. Got him up to the high 30s. Alright, let's avoid Kai this time. Hug the wall. There we go. Alright. Elevator key. Check. And we're going down. To the underground.
Here we are. This is the under. What do you guys say? It's not moving. Welcome to the under. Oh, wait a second. It's been a long time since anyone has come down here. Hmm. What the? A little bit up tempo for such a dreary place. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the under time again today. Without further ado, let's bring out the special someone we've all been waiting for. Lady Venus, please. What the heck is she supposed to be? It's like she's trying to go for an angel, devil look. Weird. Hi everyone, it's me, your Venus, everyone's Venus, that's me. I have something terribly important to share with you today. It's horrid. There are spies right here in the under. Can you imagine? We don't really know all the details, but if you see anyone suspicious, please let us know. Everyone, please, I'm counting on you. We need to get lots of information for us. And that was Lady Venus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching. Please do tune in again. Damn, they they got good sources. No way! They know that we came here already? Nick, we're going to have to be cautious. Man, they got good intel. What do you got to say? The spies are stuck in the under. It's got to be you. Am I right or am I right? Damn, she got us! Hmm, if you were really spies, you wouldn't admit that you are, would you? Your logic is impeccable. Anyway. Well, let's head up here. What's the holdup? It should be here by now. Uh, at all? Okay, well... That's interesting. Anyway, let's go in this... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a thing along the outside rail that we kind of need to do. Uh, except it's rarely seen. Huh, interesting. Uh, anything back here? Uh, nothing. Okay. And I think that this trainer right here wants to battle you. Did you come down there? Hmm. I don't look tough. Oh, oh, it's on. It is on now. Hunter Zada? Hmm. I, I've, I've got to stop questioning the names of people in Coliseum. They're just plain whack! But anyway, this gives me a good opportunity to show off Hit on Top. First off, it's got the Intimidate ability, which is pretty handy. Um, foo, 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 foo. Quagsire is not going to be good against that Oddish. I know it's just an Oddish, but still, it's got a four times weakness to it, so I think I'll switch back out to Typhlosion. And as for him on top, let's triple kick that Skitty. Yes, yes, Recall, and Typhlosion! Rawr! Alright, triple kick. Basically, it just hits three times in a row with increasing force. Aw, oh, dang it, it's got cute charm. Come on. There we go, alright, it took it out, that's good. That means the cute charm is gone. <laughs> and... Yeah, in my opinion, cute charm and attract and all that stuff, like the attractability, it's not as bad in doubles battles, uh, for the simple reason that in doubles battles, unless both Pokemon are attracted to the same Pokemon, then one Pokemon can easily, or the other Pokemon just, can just easily take out the other one with no real problem. But anyway. Boom. There goes Oddish. Oh, Quagsire went up a level, that's cool. And, come on, shop it. Okay, anyway, and triple kick missed. That is, that, that sucks. All right, flame wheel, shop it, triple kick, jiggly buff. Let's try this again. Ha, one hit KO on shop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level up. Alright, triple kick. One. Two. And three. Perfect. That triple kick's actually coming in pretty handy. But once I get Brick Break, I'll teach that over triple kick. 
because I'm pretty sure that it has higher accuracy and more power than all three triple kicks combined. And by the way, it always goes for three times. Or there's always three kicks to every triple kick. It's not like double slap where it can hit like five times or something. Anyway, over here we have this vending machine. This vending machine's been in every Pokemon game since the original. And you can buy fresh water, soda pop, or lemonade. In some... In fact, I think the only one in uh, in Pokemon XD, uh, the vending machine also has Moo Moo Milk. Uh, I might buy a bunch of lemonades off screen because um, lemonades are very, very good deals. They cost like $350 for 80 HP. So, they only cost... They cost about t less than twice as much as a potion, but it inc it heals four times as much HP. Moo Moo Milk is an even better deal, but they don't have that in this game. And in this boss, we have three Hyper Potions. Anyway, let's head into this building with the Japanese lettering. And, let's see here, what's this? Hello, the, well, the Underground Hotel. Thousand dollars? Hell no! That is ridiculous. There's a computer right here where I can do that little trick. Oh, there's a thing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the Undertime again. Lady Venus, please. Hi, everyone, it's me, your Venus, everyone's Venus, that's me. This is getting annoying. I'm very disappointed. The spies haven't been caught yet. Can you imagine? Everyone, please, I'm counting on you for more cooperation. Um, is there no police down here? Can you rely on them to take care of this job? Anyway, anyway, let's switch out Quagsire for Ampharos and hit him on top for Typhlosion since I like to keep my Pokemon generally around the same level. And before we go, um, shoot, there's a trainer around here somewhere that I want to battle. I think this is the one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. He's going to get a Shadow Pokemon, which means he doesn't have one right now. Okay, never mind. All right, what's his Pokemon? Magikarp and Feebas? What the fuck? This guy plans on going to take the Pokemon League challenge with a Feebas and a Magikarp. Okay... That's odd. I'm sure you'll do great! But he did have a third Pokemon. Oh, what is it? Freaking Remoraid? Alright, his last Pokemon is... Wait! Waylord?! I am confused. There goes Magikarp. So he has a Magikarp and a Feebats and a Waylord? What's even the point of having the Waylord? I know something kind of cool. I like. I was part of this. Or I had started this uh, forum page on the Speed Gamers forum, and it was Pokemon in need of an evolution. And I actually brought up the idea of a Waylord evolution. Now, just imagine how big that thing would have to be. See, you can't do it because there's not a ro enough room in your imagination to pull that stuff off. But anyway, but yeah, we're getting kind of up there in time. I'll never become a champ if I'm losing here. You'll never be a champ if you have freaking Magic Garp and Thebas. Come back when you have a Gyarados and a Melodic. Then we'll talk. Then you'll have a pretty good team. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this part off right here. So this has been Nicky V97 saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 32 of my walkthrough on Pokemon Coliseum. I will see you next time.